Hello and welcome to this qualitative 2013 discussion with Nina Muller. Nina, I'm delighted that you could join me. Would you like to first of all tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, well, yeah, hello. My name is Nina Muller. I'm uh, working for Point Blank International, which is an agency um, in Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a senior research, research director and um, yeah, the areas of expertise of uh, Point Blank International are qualitative research, innovation consulting, brand consulting and uh, design thinking. Well, yeah, I'm in the industry since um, seven years, um, yeah, specialized on anything that has to do with qualitative, actually on the German market, but also I'm a, I'm a research globe trotter, so you can find me all over the world. Brilliant. So I know that um, we had a little bit of a chat before this hangout and you were interested in talking about uh, your vision of the future uh, for the qualitative industry. Do you want to give us some opinions that you have on that? Yeah, well actually, um, I think it's quite interesting um, that the industry talks a lot about um, methodologies right now, methodological evolutions and everything that's out there, because I really think there, yeah, there's explosion of methodologies out there. But actually, what's even more interesting for me, or where I have the fe uh, feeling where well, we have to take the discussion further, for me it's not only about methodologies, but it's rather about yeah, our relationships with the clients and how we can really make sense out of everything we do there. Mm -hmm. Because I really have a feeling, you know, if we let ourselves define through the methods we choose or our fieldwork executions, we will only be known as data gatherers. But in my opinion, as qualitative researchers, we should rather be known as those people who deliver complexity with a handle, who really make sense out of the um, world out there, who connect dots in a meaningful way. Okay, so you would put the emphasis much more on guiding the clients through the methodologies rather than um, the focusing on the evolution of, of new methodologies. Well, you know, for me the thing is the methods are kind of the ingredients of a recipe. So, and I see ourselves as the cooks, you know, who put the things together. And the methods for me are rather the means to an end. In my opinion, it's our, yeah, it's our task to take our clients um, on a journey, you know, for real in-depth understanding, for real actionable learnings. And in my opinion, we don't reach that by doing parcel research, you know, like meeting the client first time in the back room in the research facility, mm -hmm. um, and then some weeks later deliver a parcel in a one-hour debrief session or whatsoever. For me, it has to be like a collaborative Mm -hmm. um, design there, so really interact more, um, go on the way, craft together, um, interact, ask questions, challenge each other. Okay, and I was speaking to Steve Hales uh, last week about this upcoming event, and he described where we are in qualitative as a little bit of a crossroads. Um, mm -hmm. And where would you say we are in this kind of transformation? Do you see us kind of moving more towards what you're describing, or is it something that kind of needs to start now? <laughs> well, I think that's a very good question because I think it's kind of about uh, reality and wishes. Mm. Um, I have the feeling, yes, we are at the crossroad and I think uh, a lot of agencies and point blank as well is really going on the way on going into that direction of really, I don't know, taking our clients by the hand and walking down that path because I feel it is so important to not become yeah, redundant as industry but really kind of, yeah, take back our thinking caps and be the one um, who are the thinker. And I really have the feeling, which is really interesting right now, that the discussion is out there. And actually when I looked at um, the papers for the ASOMAR conference in Valencia, um, I found it really interesting that these topics are out there. Yeah. You know, for example, I'm really looking forward um, to the speech of um, Edward Appleton, who's going to talk about that. You know, so really which relationship is there between the researcher um, and the clients? And, well, how to say, I hope we're going there, or I'm really confident we're going there, because I think it's essential. For me, there is no other way to go. Okay, and so you, you kind of brought up the event itself then, and, and, and uh, which events, uh, presentations you're looking forward to. Um, would you like to tell me a little bit about um, your involvement at this presentation, and what else you're, you're kind of looking forward to seeing? Um, well, uh, me together with my um, dear colleague Andrew Vincent from Wave Research in the UK, um, we will hold um, a presentation mm -hmm. actually about 
our mission for international qualitative um, in the future. So um, we got inspired by a very yeah, um, classic Spanish uh, literature, Don Quixote, um, and um, his sidekick Sancho Panza. And we will talk about what we can learn from this 400 years old uh, literature about how we think we should do international qualitative in the future. So I'm really looking forward to yeah to the reactions to the discussions and I hope we can like really kick off a debate there because we have the feeling things have to change. That sounds amazing. Uh, I can't wait to to watch that. Uh, Nina, thank you very much for joining me today, and I look forward uh, to your presentation at the conference. Well, thanks. What a pleasure on my side.